Instagram, Facebook, Mark Morris, TorahDeBeatingBook.com, TorahDeBeatingBook.com. I was just thinking about as I drink my way excess. I was thinking, 2008, 2009, I was introduced to Amway, Jimmy Head, Jim and Judy Head, still working with Jackie Zan buying products. What I learned during my first couple of years in Amway was understanding Martin Morris, TorahDeBeatingBook.com, engineer with the most engineer, engineer with the most videos in the world. Well, I learned was cost of goods sold. When you buy a product, if you mark up that product, you make a profit. So kind of started teaching me about sales, how to sell my own product, learn how to talk to people. But most important thing you realize, people don't like to talk about money. I finally realized that. I look at my videos, and you guys like to hear about the mobile home and stuff. I like that. When I ask you guys for money, people get a little sheepish. I would too. I was the same way, man. I was like afraid to talk about money and stuff. I was in debt. I remember, I was losing my house. I had to do like the home, the home was it the home re, home modification thing. So I had to lose my house. I have to do a fifteen percent cut in my salary. But then I started realizing, you know, you got to come to talk of the money. Then I came across Grant Cardone and like he shit man asking for no other fucking money, bro. You black man, what they gonna do? They fuck most likely they don't get the motherfucking money to you. If not, you they think you gonna whoop their ass. So like, yeah, I can see that. Well, he didn't say it like that. But like I said, ask for the money, ask for the money. Then like for the last four years, I'm getting more confident asking, asking. And then it came to a climax, which I like. Who likes that? When I worked at the Yamava Casino, I was working at the, re the luxury retail store. Helped contribute 869 sales 2021, 1.7 million in 2022. Despite uh, employees saying that I intimidated her. You saw what she looked at. You like shit. I gotta come look at that every day. I need to get. Need to, I need to be compensated. Jeez, man, just crazy. But even through all that, we have doubled our sales from the year. And we'll tell you why. If the person in charge had been cared about the culture, we probably could have tripled it. But no, they like people like small. They make lit. They like little dip. That's what Grant told me. People think so small, they get that little drip. But there's a the whole ocean out there. So that's what I learned from Amway. Then finally, I got to the point now. I'm like, hey, I need you to pay. Give me ten thousand dollars for the watch, three thousand dollars for the purse, eight hundred dollars for this, this, and that. Whenever I had problems selling, is when I tried to be cheap and try to give somebody a deal. I don't get nobody no fucking deals. I'm fifty four. Ask your mama for a deal. Ask Biden. Ask Obama. They can give you motherfucking deals. I ain't got no motherfucking deals. Can you, can you do this? Let's toss the talk. I remember you leave, come back, buy the more expensive product, then leave, get a cheap product, and call. Well, he said I couldn't use my disco for my room. He said I couldn't use my player card. Some, I'll say some white guy. Some white guy. I knew he'd be a pain in the fucking ass, man. Yeah, but, his, but the problem was he was his wife, and he's buying her a present. I'm like, bro. Why are you going to skip with your fucking wife next to you? At least if you're going to buy something cheap, make sure she ain't in a motherfucking store with you. God damn. Had another guy I sold a cheap watch to. Oh, I'm getting a deal. I'm getting a deal. The watch was broken stuff and trying to get it to fix. That's a, that's a story for another day. I told him, just buy the more expensive watch. I want a deal. It's okay, Martin. It's okay, Martin. And then I fucking call it every five fucking days. I want this. I want this. Shit. I would like, give this fucking money or something. We'll come buy something else, do an exchange. So I know what it is to have stuff be cheap, man. I remember if my luck would have my apartments and, uh, Yucca Valley, try to be nice to the neighbors. Oh, you can spend an extra, take another couple of days and return in your rent. You know why? Because I was short on money. Now, if I was smart and had two to three months of cash reserve, at least I could have kicked their motherfucking asses out. But I didn't have no money, so I'm like, begging. That will never happen again. I will never, ever beg for rent. The hell was happening with my grandmother? Friend of the family turned into a fucking squatter. Didn't pay, couldn't pay a fucking $300 bill. Always had a fucking excuse, and then she fucked up on a wheel thing, too, man. So I don't give nobody no fucking deals, man. But inflation, you guys have Teslas. I see Teslas, Lexuses, all this stuff. Hey, somebody's gonna come ask me, can you get a deal? Fuck no, you ain't getting no goddamn deal, man. But what I learned watching Greg Cardone's How to Be a Millionaire is I gotta rededicate myself to becoming a $10 million. Now that I'm up to getting to that million dollar level, level I've got to rededic rededicate my stay broke mentality. Because you see all the, everyone's like, 
luxury, luxury, dogs, this, that, the other. Consumer debt's at an all-time high. So every time I go out, I realize there's a lot about the fucking broke people. I don't care what they're driving. Lexuses, piece of shit car. A lot of people ain't got no money. Or debt wouldn't be at an all-time consumer high. You see what I'm saying? It means when you're going out, you're about people who may not have no money. Or a few, a, a few days or things from snapping. So Grant says, stay broke, Martin. Stay broke. You don't need to be going out. So the next time I'm going out, I'm telling you, is a big trip. Maybe a minor trip for my birthday, August 13th to Palm Springs for two days. Then the next trip will be to Phoenix to do some work. But until then, no going out, man. Now I'm focusing on how to bring in another $69,050. I have one program with the gamers in a casino. I'm asking them for $200 to help me with the student loan project. Then I'm helping uh, business owners double their sales, charge them three or 4000 Hey, you can take this. I want to help you. I want to help you. I want to help you. Or you can be broke, man. There's a lot of people who are about to get laid off. You trust me on that. I, the banks have failed. Only reason people are not getting laid off is because the banks are calling the debt. That's all it is. For some reason, because of Biden or something, I mean, they're in bed with them. It's because of that. So what I'm trying to tell you is rededicate yourself to making money. Once you get your debts paid off, my student loan paid off, I say, oh, no, I'm broke, man. I need to go out and raise another $10 million. You raise another about $10 million, then you got some money. Money, million dollars is nothing like Grant says. Middle class baby money, man. That's, then you want to you go get a Lexus, you want to get two cars, you get three cars, then you can go play with the big boys. Till then, be, go stay broke, man. You don't need to be going out nowhere, man. Where are you going? Where am I going to go? I'm 55. Dating a girl who's 20. That's enough. Shit, she takes enough of my money. What else am I going to go do? I can't get it up like I used to, man. And on top of it, you can't even buy the shit to help you get it up. They make it so hard to get shit now. Let's try to get my dental, get, just get the dental to, dental stuff. She walking the mother chef, fucking the, fucking the fucking toothpaste up to the counter. Like, damn. You think the nigga gonna steal the motherfucking toothpaste? Go steal the shaving cream, whatever. They gotta I lock it They lock it up and walk it up there. I'm like, ah. Only in America, man. Only in America. So remember, dedicate, rededicate yourself to staying broke. Seven years student loan paid off. Ninety-one thousand four sixty-three. Zero. I could pay the other amount off now, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to follow Grant's theory of letting someone else bring in the money. So I'm waiting on a check to come in. That's the only thing stopping it from just being August fourth. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm here to help you student loans. You want to pay off your loan? I want to help you HVAC, dentist, massage, because I'm coming to you, man. I know a lot of you guys got it going on. You got it going on. But ain't nobody fucking in your loans. You got eight seats and they're empty, so something must not be going right. So I'll try to help them out. Another one, two old, by uh, tight outfit training, helping people get in shape, and whatever the businesses I'm going to throw. But number one thing, heading starting August 4th, going forward, Stay broke. And you, it started today, stay broke. It reminds me, you don't need to get a car. You don't need to get anything. You know, I, I, I'm cooking my chicken. I have the hamburger meat. You don't need to be going to Panda Express. No, as super, unless you're in the area. You don't need to be going all that stuff. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know what you think, man. I'm back to staying broke like Greg Cardone says. And a mistake a lot of Amway people make is once you guys get to that debt out of the way, the little extra money, you want to go try to show off. But be careful, your partner may be ready to cut you. Once, you get, once you're debt free, you got a little extra money, it's like, I'll cut this motherfucker, man. So, or, or, or it could be the opposite way around. You want to cut her. Nothing wrong with that, man. Just give her the half. Thank you. Have a good day, especially in California. They're going to make sure you get the half. Give them the money. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see, man. Student loan, HVAC, masseuse, that's going to be like an extra $15, $20 million business. I'll have to fire, hire five or six people. Student loan program, that'll be another 1,000 people. Help me get to that 1,000 subscribers. Should be 10,000 subscribers with that student loan debt. Because for just a uh, shout out to you, student loan. Student loan is 0% interest until September 1st. You do not have to pay interest on your loan until September 1st. Pay as much as you can. Look at my examples on how I'm teaching you how to calculate, how to pay down your loan. Because people don't even know how their balances go down. Man. They just keep paying, keep paying, keep paying. That's why people are in debt. Because they come up short and the only way to survive is to go in more debt. So my goal is i got to convince them to use debt to make money. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Talk to you later.